Well, hi, Pisces. Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. Hey, it's time for March's reading. So we're going to pull out a universe card. We're going to get some advice from the universe before we do your tarot reading. And then we will pull out an angel card for advice. So this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. You can take what does resonate, or you might think about getting a private reading, and I do private readings. Um, my email address is in the description box right below this video. Just send me an email, and that's all it takes to get started. So here we go. For Pisces, a word of advice from the universe. A word of advice from the universe for Pisces, right in here, there. It's card 14, and it says, I see myself attracting harmonizing intent. So I'm going to read this to you. I see myself attracting only those in harmony with my current intent. I am getting clearer and clearer in every moment about what is that I want. It matters not what others are choosing, but what is important is that I am pleased with me. And as I see myself, I certainly am. Very nice. So don't worry about what other people think. Do what pleases you and makes you feel good about yourself. That's what that card is basically about. Okay, if a card falls out, I'm going to put it back in. They're very slippery until I'm ready to let them come out. Okay, so this is your tarot reading. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first section of the reading. One more shuffle here for Pisces, please, for March. Pisces for March. Here we go. And we are ready. What does Pisces need to know? What's coming up in Pisces life for March? What is coming in? What is leaving? Any advice? Is there anything that's been hidden that needs to be revealed? For Pisces. No, had a flipper. There. Okay, let's see what we got. So I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. The overall energy of this reading will be the Queen of Wands. Wow. Passionate. Ready to move forward. Ooh, look at that. So we have cards left for the second part of the reading. Almost got them all. Okay. The Queen of Wands... And all the kings and queens are very mature thinking, okay? Very mature minded. Um, they're all male or female, all cards. But the overall energy is you're ready to move forward. You're holding a staff of fresh starts, new beginnings. This is the most passionate card in the deck. You're a very passionate person. It's like wherever you put your love, you put your passions. Whether it's animals, work, love, uh, gardening, whatever it might be. So, you're ready to move forward now, huh? Okay, but up here in your highest energy, we have the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands, this is like playing tug of war. You have been going through it. Um, it it's like you're fighting with your own mental uh, thoughts here about moving forward. It could be about who to move forward with or how to move forward. Um, but you're, you're playing with different ideas here on how you are going to succeed in moving forward. 
it's really on your mind. I have, if this is your reading, I have the Nine of Wands next to the Five of Wands and, and right above the Queen of Wands. Look at all these wands so far. So the Nine of Wands, this is, it's been a burden. It's been a burden trying to figure out how you're going to move forward, I think. Uh, you are going to move forward with the Queen of Wands here. I think you're coming into your own element now. And, um, but this is really being in it. It's like carrying a heavy burden. But, I have the Two of Wands next to the Nine of Wands. And this tells me that there you are holding your staff of fresh starts and new beginnings again. There's the world. And you are definitely thinking about moving forward. You haven't really made the move yet, though. Not so far in this reading. You're like on the edge of your seat, okay? Temperance. Temperance is right under the Five of Wands and next to the Queen of Wands. This is your guardian angels and spirit guides. And what they're doing is they're mixing that potion back and forth, back and forth. Their job is to help you be tempered. They want you to be balanced, grounded, and patient. Be patient with yourself. You might, this might be part of your struggle here, is patience, okay? So um, this is the card for Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. Look at all these wands. So Sagittarius might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. So Temperance is right next to the Queen of Wands. You know, I think they're just saying you'll know when the time is right. You're going to feel it when the time is right to move forward. Um, but it looks like there's an offer coming in. And I think this, this is why Temperance is trying to, like, slow you down a bit. They're, they're trying to get you to um, just breathe, you know. And take a moment because I think there's an offer that's coming in and this is going to um, help you find your direction what you've been fighting with which way to go you know so this is a sincere sincere love offer coming in right under that two of wands and there you're dreaming about what moving forward and all this and that and in the background somebody's moving in and they're coming in with this very sincere love offer, which could be just asking for your phone number, or do you want a cup of coffee? Something like that, male or female. <clears throat> I think they probably will pick up on this energy you have of, of wanting to move forward and your passion. Your passion is very uh, strong. I have the King of Pentacles under Temperance. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn which might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading, Pisces. But um, look at that huge pentacle there. I, I feel like, is that coming from the Knight of Cups? I think this is just, I think this is your energy because it's below temperance. I think they really want you to be grounded and just kind of, um, be happy with what you got for the moment until things uh, change to where you're going to have to make this decision. Now, this Five of Wands might be because this Knight of Cups is coming in. And it really, you might go back and forth about what should you do here in this situation. But the King of Pentacles, um, I think you're very grounded. And um, I think this is what you're looking for. I think you're stable, you're secure, and whoever you move forward with, they're going to have to have a pentacle too to offer you. So be patient. Don't, don't let your passions get the best of you, okay? The Queen of Wands is famous for that. So I have the Fool next to the King of Pentacles and under the Queen of Wands. Under the Queen of Wands. See, the passions can get the best of the Queen of Wands. Um, this is living in the moment. This is like living day to day, uh, carefree, you know, just kind of, you know, bouncing along with your head in the clouds. Um, it's a very happy and joyful card, but it never lasts. That's why it's called the fool card, because you come to the edge of the cliff and that's when you start to look, look towards this security this stability wanting more wanting commitment or something like that and then things fall apart because most people are not on the same page at the same time when they start off in the fool's energy i have the page of swords next to the fool and under the knight of cups so you're going to have your sword out 
And even when this Knight of Cups approaches you, you're going to be kind of on guard. You're not swinging it. You're just kind of looking out for yourself, which is a, always a good idea. So, you know, up here, you're, I think you're just going to kind of go back and forth a bit on should I, shouldn't I? And it's because you have your sword out. You're in self-protection mode, which is great. Wow, this is a... <laughs> This soulmate coming in is your soul. Uh, this partner coming in is your soulmate. This is a soulmate for you uh, that I think you can be very happy with. Oh my gosh, what I'm seeing. One more card. There it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Queen of Swords is up next to the Two of Wands. The Queen of Swords is. Air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But what it is, is look at that stern look. Demanding the truth. Speaking your truth. Sword is out in self-protection. So, you know, this is kind of uh, the personality that you're taking on here. You're the Queen of Wands, but you're also the Queen of Swords. And I think you learned to take your sword out. Because your sword is out here as the Page of Swords. And then we move right to the Queen of Swords. So I think uh, you're like on guard about this offer that comes in. But I have the Strength card right next to the Queen of Swords. This is the card for Leo, which is a fire sign, by the way, another one. Um, Leo might be strong in your chart or someone else's. But this tells me that you will know what to do, and you will find the strength and the courage to do it. But you're going to know what to do because you're going to find out. <laughs> it's right next to the Queen of Swords. And next to the Strength card, this is who's... you got somebody coming in here. We got the, Now we have the Queen and the King of Wands. Talk about a powerful, uh, passionate couple here. Fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That could be strong in someone's chart. Again, holding the staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. Ready to move forward. Ready to move forward. This soulmate that comes in is going to be ready to move forward just as you are. They're coming in sincere. I have the Ace of Wands. I can't believe all the wands you have in your reading. And this is under the Queen of Swords. Next to the Knight of Cups. There is your fresh start and your new beginning. That Knight of Cups is actually going to come in and offer you. It may seem very simple at first. You may not really realize how much they have to offer. They have a lot to offer. Uh, and But you're going to find out. You're going to find out that they are be on the up and up. You know, they don't have any ulterior motives. They're looking for someone just like you are. And I think you're going to move forward together. I have the King of Cups next to the Ace of Wands, and right below the Strength card, which is Water Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. This is you. This is your card, your energy. Um, you have a huge cup of love you would love to share with somebody. Um, but you're holding it close. You have a pentacle. You have all this passion. You have this huge cup of love. You have the sword, so you're a very honest and upfront individual. Um, so, just holding it close here. Very mature thinking, waiting for the right person to come along. You will find the strength and courage to figure out this is the right person coming in. This is a very strong soulmate. I have the Seven of Cups next to the King of Cups and under the Knight or the King of Wands. So the Seven of Cups, this is what you're going to try to be careful of. You don't want to hand your cup out to someone who's only going to offer back one of these cups. All these cups have something else in them. Not one of these is the right cup for you, but they're all enticing for one reason or another. And I, that's one of the reasons probably temperance is right here on the same line saying, be balanced, be patient, you know, be grounded. Don't let your passions get the best of you. Ask for the truth, ask for the clarity and get to know them so that you know that you're doing the right thing and moving forward with them. This is a really strong, uh, passionate relationship coming in. I have the Ten of Pentacles under the Ace of Wands, that fresh new start, new beginning, and the Page of Swords. Wow. 
This is all about commitment. This is all about sharing pentacles. This is grounded, secure, just stable. They're bringing everything in with them. And, you know, you have a big pentacle. You guys are going to share pentacles. You're going to share love. You're going to share passion, a lot of passion, and share love. So, you're going to have your sword out because you know this is what you want in moving forward. And, oh, my Lord, we have the queen of pentacles, the king and queen. So, you know, this is such a strong soulmate relationship. It's going to be filled, like I said, with passion it's going to be filled with security, groundedness, commitment. Um, beautiful couple. A beautiful relationship. And you can thank the universe. This is the wheel. And the wheel, when it's, once it starts turning, it's turning always for your better. And you cannot stop it. It's taking you. So be patient. Let, let all this happen. Let it all unfold. That's what this whole reading is about. Wow. You can expect changes in your life. Beautiful changes. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. So, I'm taking out your angel card. Let's see what they have to say. What advice for this reading. Um, I've already got some advice, and that is seek the truth and clarity. Um, let temperance do their job, be grounded, be stable, be patient. That's the, one of the biggest things I think here, especially when you're the queen of wands. Waiting for the right person to come in and being the king of wands. And the king of wands has a lot to offer here. Okay. Wow. Let's take out your card. From your guardian angels. Where is it? I think it's just right about there. We have the four of emotion. So I'm going to read it to you. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts. Wow, these pentacles can be opportunities. Heaven is that you're not noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. That's probably why you're playing tug of war in your head. Uh, this is a gift coming in, okay? Uh, this is a gift coming in. These soulmate energies, all in one, they're gifts. Look around you, it says. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. So if you feel like this is my dream coming true, act upon it. Don't let it slip through your fingers. Okay, don't waste all your time playing tug of war in your mind. Uh, there is a very, very special soulmate coming in for you. And it's going to last a very long time. You're going, to just, you're going to have a beautiful partnership together. So, wow, Pisces, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels, my spirit guides, for helping me deliver you this message.